All right there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be replacing this corner hood support piece. Now, this has actually been damaged a bit since I bought the truck. Uh, this was cracked. This truck has taken a hard hit in this corner at some point in its past, but it's definitely gotten worse. Right here is where the hood hinge actually bolts and I hit a couple deer with this here this last year. That's why we went ahead and put this bull guard on. This corner support piece here where the hood hinge attaches actually ended up breaking completely out. Now I did bubble gum weld that back together, but you know, my skills with welding aluminum aren't great. Plus it's 40 year old cast aluminum. So I really don't trust it. It's been holding for, for a while here now, but we do need to, to actually get this fixed properly. Now there's actually several huck bolts in here that hold this on as well as, uh, you know, the headlight bolts through here, the fender support bracket bolts through. There's some bolts up here in the front of the grill that uh, bolt through there. So it's not gonna be the simplest repair. I would actually really like to have gotten this done before I put the uh, big bumper on. However, I went to go do it, I don't know, several weeks ago, and I realized I didn't have the huck bolts that I needed to do it. I had some odds and ends left over, but, you know, I had had some huck bolts, but I didn't have the collar for that size. I had collars for one size. Anyway, I had to go order some. And generally what I do, uh, you don't want to get them through Peterbilt or Kenworth or whatever. I think, uh, what was it my one viewer called it? The, uh, the Red Oval Office, because they're super expensive there. T typically what I do is I just go on Google or whatever, and I search the uh, size that I'm looking for or whatever, and just buy them based off the price. I think these came off of eBay. I went ahead and I took some of them, and I just stuck them in a cardboard box and painted them to match the truck. So after we cut those ones out and we install these ones, they're already going to be painted to match. For those who are not familiar with huck bolts, this is what, what a huck bolt looks like. They have... If you notice, it looks like they're threaded, but it's not actually a thread. They're they're round circles. It's not a helical thread. And you have a collar that slides over it, and you use a special tool that pulls this and crimps this collar down on here. And the manufacturer uses these for a few reasons. For one, they're really fast and easy to install. You get the proper tension on them every single time, and they are extremely vibration well, basically vibration proof because it's not a helical gear and it's a crimp connection. It, uh, they don't come loose. Once they're installed, they don't come loose. Now the downside to a huck bolt is it does require a, you know, $1,200, $1,300 tool to install them. I know since, uh, since I bought my huck bolt tool, Milwaukee's come out with one. I think uh, JC Smith bought one of those and uh, that's definitely what I would have gone with if that would have been available back when I ordered mine. Now what I have is the RAT or the Reliable Air Tools version. Very good tool and that's what we're going to be using. But before we get to that, we do still need to get the old one out first, which those huck bolts are a pain to remove. You basically have to cut them or drill them out. You can't just unthread them. <laughs> All right, so this is the main two ways I kind of remove those huck bolts. Either I take a grinder and I cut through the bottom of the collar till you cut through the bolt and then it'll pop off. Or you drill a head, drill a hole through the head until the head pops off and then you can just drive them out either way. But I think we got everything removed that's holding that in there. We just got to figure out how to go about getting that snaked out of there here now.
All right, so I was getting frustrated there. I was having trouble with these puck bolts that I bought online. Who would have guessed buying something online based off the cheapest price backfire on you? So anyway, I ended up just kind of throwing this back together. Uh, basically everything that was bolted through, I just got bolted through so I could go ahead and throw the hood hinge back on so I could close up the hood and close up the shop for the day and what I ended up doing is I ran over to a local body shop that does work on semi trucks and I bought some more huck bolts and collars from them and the price actually was pretty reasonable so that's probably that might be what I do from now on as far as buying these so anyway hopefully these should work better I have installed hundreds of huck bolts with that tool and not had an issue with it as well as twin sticks garage had borrowed that my huck tool and he installed lots of huck bolts with it as well as uh greg avarella i think it is he had used my huck bolt tool too and he didn't have any issues with it so i'm pretty sure it's those cheap huck bolts that i bought online so hopefully we won't have any more trouble need to go ahead and uh open the hood back up and get these installed. I just noticed something else out of these ones that we did get to crimp out of the the other uh, huck bolts that I had bought. Some of them, even though they did crimp, are loose. So I think we're going to go ahead and cut all of these ones out that we had already installed and uh, replace them as well. Now, because we would pre-painted those huck bolts there, we don't even need to do any paint touch-up. So, that's all done here now. That was only slightly aggravating. I suppose I should probably show you guys the old one here. You can see my Instagram-worthy snot here where I welded this back together where that hood hinge broke off you can see it was also cracked on the other underside and it was cracked up here 
So yeah, this definitely needed to be replaced. See the back side of it's all full of cracks. So that was basically only held on there by hopes and dreams, and now we got something solid in there. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you.